War. 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 Oh, I didn't didn't see you, you were here. Welcome, welcome. This is uh, we're going to talk about war and. Uh, when Johnny comes marching home, often doesn't come marching home. Well, as you know, I'm, uh, even though I'm just 25 years old, uh, actually, I lived hard. That's why I look older. I am a veteran of World War II. I got in at the tail end and uh, also, I'd say I'm a veteran of the Vietnam protest the hatred of war and also the uh, idea that I was doing something to end it by uh, I, I was at the Pentagon that was quite a quite a trip at the Pentagon the 82nd uh, Airborne was there you know, with their combat boots and firing tear gas at the demonstrators and we, we went through a fence and we sat there and looked at the Pentagon. In its ugly strength. And then the gate opened, the door opened, and men in blue suits and white helmets came out and they had bats and they were hitting the demonstrators. Hitting them, hitting them. And everybody just sat there in, a, uh, in their protest, facing the Pentagon. They were not going to move. They were going to just stay there at the Pentagon. It was quite a night. We just sat there and periodically the men in blue, I guess they're marshals, they came out with their, with their clubs, hitting people. And I would look around and see young, young people, much younger than me, there. And I figured they, they were really brave, some of them. They just looked uh, very determined to make a statement. And it's quite, a, quite an experience. on a ship going over to Europe in 1945, 46. The war was coming to an end, and then, but there we were, and they did submarine drills on the, on the boat, and uh, but where, what are we gonna do? What are we do doing here? Why are we doing this? Although there was a reason for that war, I felt. It was danger to whatever whatever in our life was precious by an enemy that was the enemy of everything human. Yes, it really was as terrible as it was and as stupid as it was. There's this. It was a reason, a reason why we were on the ship and the Atlantic is quite beautiful, actually, on a small ship. It was, I think they call it a victory ship. And uh, there we were, just all these guys going someplace, not knowing where we're going, ending, landing in, in Le Havre, and uh, then traveling through France on uh, freight cars. That They said uh, 40 and 8 it was for 40 men and and eight horses, that was, they called them 40 and eight, 40 and eights. And then from there, it was just a question of doing this and doing that. I got on Stars and Stripes, I was the, uh, the reporter on Stars and Stripes, the Southern Germany edition, 
I'd been in the in the states. I'd been in several bands, but I was impossible to discipline. I was 18. I didn't didn't want to be told what to do, and so I didn't last in these bands. With the 89th Army Ground, Ground Force Band and the 90th, we did a jazz version of the Star Spangled Banner. We got in trouble. We had to play the Star Spangled Banner over and over and over because we had desecrated it and uh, it put a lieutenant, infantry lieutenant, in charge of us. Like like uh, at school, I was a bad boy, right? A hundred times on the black uh, on the blackboard, I will be a good boy. So we played the Star Spangled Banner from nine to twelve, and eight, and played the Star Spangled Banner again, over and over until we learned our lesson. The lesson was, I'm not going to take this, and so I was out of the band. And uh, anyway, but as I said, the experience of, of participating in the uh, anti-war struggle of the, uh, the Vietnam era that gave me another another insight into it and I'm not going to give you a lot of uh, I'm not going to give you a lot of theory about war why this is just there was the throwing myself into it and being part of something it was amazing how uh, how big that movement it came, it started small and grew and it was an inspiring thing. And we we did the uh, our song. overcome. It was a, uh, a grand feeling that we were doing something just as maybe the years before in, uh, in the 40s we were doing something too through the mechanism of war. We thought that, we, that that was going to be the last one, that the countries were going to get together, that fascism would have fallen, a, a society based on hatred and exploitation was put to rest, and here we were to build a new world. Of course, the new world that we built was just another Cold War madness. We needed an enemy. An enemy. I never could understand the Cold War, why that meant colonizing, defending the color of the French colony in Vietnam and then they became the British colony and then we took it over. I could never understand what all that was about. It had nothing to do with what we, what, what those who went into uh, the war and in the World War II, it had nothing to do what we, what we wanted. So that was my sermon on war, but I'm so glad you people are here. me jazz you can feel all oh, that that's what my new album is and let me just read this for you it's jazz you can feel volume one my new album is available for download on CD baby iTunes or Amazon I hope you enjoy it I really enjoyed making it mm -hmm. 